Since ancient times, secret societies have wielded power and influence from the shadows, possessing knowledge that grants them an unparalleled advantage over the masses. Among these, the Freemasons stand out, shrouded in mystery and revered for their esoteric wisdom. Organizations like the Illuminati, Skull and Bones, and the Freemasons are known for their enigmatic origins and the secrecy surrounding their activities. These societies not only preserve esoteric knowledge, but also shape society through their influential members. What is the secret knowledge that legendary figures like Mozart, Winston Churchill, and George Washington possessed? The answer lies in the understanding that their teachings go beyond the literal, requiring a deep comprehension of symbolism and metaphors. Freemasonry, in particular, stands out among these societies. Originating in the Middle Ages, its beginnings are shrouded in mystery, but it is well documented that its impact grew exponentially after the founding of the Grand Lodge in 1717 in the United Kingdom. From the 18th century onwards, the Freemasons rapidly spread throughout Europe and other continents, bringing with them rituals and teachings that adapted to local cultures while maintaining a common core of beliefs and occult practices. The 33rd degree, one of the highest and rarest in Freemasonry, is granted only to those who have made exceptional contributions to the organization, symbolizing a significant and mysterious milestone. Those who achieve this degree are considered guardians of profound and powerful secrets. Even rarer is the Grand Cross, an honor superior to the 33rd degree, bestowed upon a minuscule number of Freemasons, recognizing a level of understanding and dedication that places them at the pinnacle of the Masonic hierarchy. These secret organizations are often viewed with suspicion by the general public, precisely because of the secrecy that surrounds them. However, it is precisely this mystery that makes their study so fascinating. At the intersection of quantum physics, the law of attraction, and Masonic wisdom, we find a fascinating convergence of concepts that illuminate the interconnected nature of the universe. Quantum physics, with its phenomenon of entanglement, suggests that all particles are fundamentally connected, regardless of the distance between them. This concept of interconnectedness deeply resonates with the teachings of the 33rd degree of Freemasonry, which emphasize the unity of all beings and the spiritual connection between all things. In Freemasonry, the perception of this unity is crucial for a deeper understanding of the rituals and symbols that are transmitted through the degrees. Furthermore, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum physics introduced the idea that observation influences reality. In Freemasonry, especially at its higher levels, there is a strong emphasis on perception and consciousness as tools for shaping reality. Freemasons learn that their consciousness and intentions are essential for creating their own reality, a concept that is central both to quantum physics and the law of attraction. The idea that the observer plays an active role in shaping reality is a powerful link between modern science and ancient esoteric practices. The law of attraction also perfectly aligns with Masonic teachings on clarity of purpose and intention. This law posits that clear and focused thoughts and intentions can manifest in reality, attracting desired outcomes. Freemasons of the 33rd degree are encouraged to clearly define their spiritual and material goals, using rituals and meditations to align their minds with their objectives. This practice of visualization and conscious intention is a fundamental aspect of both the law of attraction and Masonic philosophy, suggesting that our ability to create our own reality is deeply rooted in our consciousness and will. By recognizing that consciousness and intention influence reality, both quantum physics and the law of attraction, along with Freemasonry, 
invite us to see the universe as an interconnected web of energy and consciousness. This holistic view promotes a path of personal and spiritual growth, where understanding and applying these laws can lead to a more balanced and harmonious existence. Through the integration of these concepts, Freemasonry not only preserves ancient knowledge, but also aligns with modern scientific advances, offering a rich and complex perspective on the nature of reality and human potential. With a combination of history, philosophy and symbolism, Freemasonry promises it initiates a path to knowledge that few have the opportunity to tread. Among the primary human beliefs, prejudice is the most difficult to overcome. Even for those who observe superficially, the true wealth of Freemasonry lies in its mysticism. However, many scholarly Freemasons reject the mystical interpretation of their symbols, reflecting the modern view that avoids transcendentalism. Albert Pike, an important figure in Freemasonry, whose works and leadership had a profound impact on the organization and philosophy of the Scottish Rite, based many of his writings on the works of the French magician Eliphas Levi, one of the greatest modern transcendentalists. Levi, whose real name was Alphonse Louis Constant, was an occultist, metaphysician and philosopher who used magical rituals to invoke spirits, such as that of Apollonius of Tiana. Pike used many of Levi's ideas in his book, Morals and Dogma, copying entire pages almost literally. To understand this connection, it is important to explore the history of Freemasonry and its influences. Levi believed in the union of science, philosophy and religion. His writings emphasized esoteric knowledge and spiritual quest, ideas that are deeply present in Masonic rituals. Despite Pike's significant contributions and his acceptance of a transcendental perspective, the modern Mason is still reluctant to admit that transcendentalism has a role in Freemasonry. This resistance prevents a full appreciation of the spiritual and esoteric richness that Masonic symbols and rituals can offer. Even the casual observer perceives that the true wealth of Freemasonry lies in its mysticism. However, the typical scholarly Mason fundamentally opposes a mystical interpretation of its symbols, sharing the modern mind's general aversion to transcendentalism. Albert Pike passionately advocated the importance of mysticism in Freemasonry. His masterpiece, Morals and Dogma, reveals the deep connection of Freemasonry with esotericism and the quest for spiritual enlightenment. Pike frequently cited Eliphas Levy, whose works explored themes such as Kabbalah, alchemy, and magic, which are closely linked to Masonic tradition. Levi's prominent presence in Pike's writings reinforces the relevance of mysticism and esotericism in Freemasonry. The quest for the lost word, a central concept in Freemasonry, requires an open mind willing to explore beyond the obvious. True Masonic wisdom is not limited to rituals and symbols, but lies in the constant pursuit of knowledge and spiritual growth. The secret doctrine of Freemasonry focuses on philosophically understanding the parts and proportions of the microcosm, the human being. With this knowledge, they aspire to achieve the greatest ambition of their art, to create the perfect human being. Masonic scholars know that Solomon's Temple represents, on a smaller scale, the universe, a manifestation of the macrocosm. Solomon symbolizes universal illumination, mental, spiritual, moral, and physical, and is represented as the king of an earthly nation. Although there was a historical ruler with this name who built a temple, those who view this story merely as a historical fact will not uncover the hidden secrets. These secrets are concealed beneath superficial symbols, allegories and degrees that were not part of the original Masonic mysteries. Albert Pike mentions that the esoteric key to Masonic secrets has been lost. To deeply understand Masonic mysteries, one must go beyond appearances. 
The true essence of Freemasonry lies in the quest to connect with universal principles through ancient symbols and rituals. This philosophical journey aims not only to build a physical temple, but also to develop an enlightened human being capable of reflecting the harmony and order of the universe. The path to personal and spiritual development involves understanding and applying the laws of consciousness and clarity. The first step is to awaken consciousness, which means being fully present and aware of oneself and the world around. This state of awareness is crucial for perceiving the deeper, hidden truths that Masonic teachings offer. Creating from a place of certainty is essential. When one has clarity and awareness, it is possible to intentionally create the desired reality. This includes not only visualizing goals, but also taking conscious action towards them. Clarity generates confidence, and confidence facilitates the creation of meaningful and satisfying outcomes. The application of these laws goes beyond individual development. They also have social and collective implications. A Mason who achieves a high level of consciousness and clarity can positively influence their community and society as a whole. Through example and leadership, they can inspire others to pursue their own development and growth. If this video made sense to you, write in the comments. It made sense to me. Remember to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all the latest teachings.